this is uh, Sven on the SRS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at the uh, Dam Toys 1-6 scale Assassin's Creed Origins figure uh, Bayek or Bayek or whatever how you pronounce it uh, here's the front side of the sleeve nice picture of the character here and you have more of that uh, Egyptian theme going on here as well as with the logo down there at the bottom on the back you have the same logo some warnings and stuff uh, some hieroglyphs on the other side here I assume they are the same ones that's tattooed on the arm of the figure there and uh, yeah, that's for the outer box. Let's o uh, open it up and have a further look. And uh, here is the inner box with the beautiful display window there to see the entire figure and some of the accessories. Uh, you have the Assassin's Creed Origins uh, logo down here with the name Bayek, one six scale collectible figure. And the box is uh, light colored with the uh, anonymous uh, signs, the lines and stuff, a little bit hard to see on camera here. Uh, if it's possible to. You can barely see the lines there. You have the. Assassin's Creed logo here and a hell of a lot of flickering but uh, yeah that's the back of the box here's the other side there's the top and there's the bottom uh, let me get the contents out here and I'll be right back everything comes in uh, two trays here uh, let's open this one first. Um, I should have done that before I hit record, but yeah, anyways, let's start with the uh, bottom tray first, where there are some accessories. Uh, first off, let's have a look at his shield. If I can get it out. And yeah, here it is. So, I think this is the right side up. Really nicely done scarab here. Everything is molded plastic. Got the metal finish here. Really nicely painted. Got the gold here on the wings and as well as along the edge here. Really nicely done. Beautiful shield. Got some straps here on the inside. Uh, these doesn't remove though, so you have to take off the hand, slide the finger in and that's it. Really nicely done. Then his weapon which this time is a bow and it's nicely done too uh, got the elas elastic string here and looks like wood slightly recurved some but everything is plastic but it seems like it supposed to look like some sort of brass here and here uh, as well as these details handle nicely painted and sculpted the other side is pretty much the same thing but yeah that's his uh, bow and 
for the first time in the Assassin's Creed series, there is <laughs> uh, a figure of the the help you have, which usually is a bird. Uh, and here is the one for Bayek. It looks like some sort of eagle or hawk to me. Judging by the beak and the feet, I think it's supposed to be some sort of eagle. Really nicely painted with the wings out. Still the feet of the bird with the talons. The bottle. Tail feathers there. Really nicely done. And uh, the only other figure I have with such a bird must be the uh, crow figure from Hot Toys and looks really similar. Uh, this this uh, bird also comes with this base and it's black heavy with some fabric anti-slide fabric under there and a hole for the pole which is right there in the other tray. You also get his face. Which uh, simulates the deserts stuff done the same way as uh, Damn Toys previous Assassin's Creed figure spaces. But there you have the sand with some rock. You have this uh, assassin symbol embedded in the ground there place for the grabber and you have the nameplate here with uh, excuse me some fingerprints because I already opened this once already yeah Assassin's Creed Origins anti-slide no no anti-slide on the bottom this time but uh, the stick pretty much the and his surface anyway so the right stair and yeah nicely painted and sculpted makes me want to get the one for the Ezio figure from uh, Assassin's Creed 2 now because that's the only <laughs> stand that stands out but yeah that's the stand and uh, I believe that was everything in the bottom tray here so I can remove this next up is the tray with the figure and that's how everything is splayed out in the display here or in the box there I mean Should have removed this earlier. Uh, there. And uh, yeah, moving along with the accessories. Let's have a look at his sword. Which is this one. I really like the design on this. Uh, got the handle with some fabrics wrapped there and there's some really nice patterns here and the handle with the wrapping sculpted with the blade here Really, really nice. Nicely painted too. Damn Toys is good at weathering and making things look like, like they're used. So yeah, that's the sword. Uh, here's the rod for the base for the bird. And it 
just don't yeah and then once you get it in there it it will stay to put it that way be careful so you don't break it when applying force to it though and uh, then you take the other curved end and you take the butt of the eagle and you connect those two like that and that's the stand for the bird if it gets to have it there take the bird off for a moment you also get uh, the swappable hidden blade a little bit different this time because the blade itself is hollow uh, the <coughs> This is the extended one, really nicely done here, sculpted, there's the underside with the peg holes, and the pegs, look like holes on camera, but there are pegs here, and there are also arrows, you get three of them, they are plastic, there's the feather side, Put some painting there, everything is sculpted in plastic, there's the arrowhead, really nicely done, and there's the entire arrow. Uh, not gonna bother looking at the two other ones. Don't have to get them out anyway. Here. Ah, fucking hell. Uh, we have the quiver. The quiver is uh, basically sculpted, but uh, you have these wrappings here that are fabric and real metal here those there's a peg to plug it into the figure that's a first for me uh, but yeah uh, i'm gonna check with the box later i don't think you're supposed to use these straps though but uh, yeah that's the quiver um, arrows goes in like that You also get the grabber for the base for a figure and that should leave us with just the figures and the hands. Uh, you get, uh, let's do the lifts, his right hands first here, do it uh, when they're done. <coughs> you get the continuation of the armor on his wrist here. Nicely painted and nicely sculpted as usual by Dam Toys. This is the relaxed hand. You get uh, uh, holding the arrow hand for the bow and arrows. Same armor piece up on the hand there. Nicely painted and sculpted. Then you have a right sword holding hand. And this one comes with his own uh, pegs too. This is probably the spare pegs. And uh, yeah, done the same way. For his left hand, uh, it's missing half the finger though due to the ceremonial stuff there. Could have been better painted right in there though. But uh, yeah, this is for holding the bow, I assume, yes, bow holding hand. Got this. Uh, stuff 
for the hidden blade triggering system and his next left hand is a relaxed hand it would be the equivalent of this one and you also get a hidden blade usage hand to put it that way you want to trigger out the blade and it's painted much better around this thing on his finger and then we're left with the figure and the figure itself comes with plastic bags on both feet those plastic bags on both hands and I'm dropping it on the floor and a plastic bag for the head with this tiny little foam piece here to protect the head sculpt Damn Toys is taking care of their products and there's also this uh, plastic hair and the back here I'm gonna remove them off camera and I'll be right back and uh, here is the everything splayed out on my custom shelf pieces here and uh, here's the figure standing on the shelf I just took him right out of the box can't see anything wrong with the figure but uh, let's do a quick spin here and I've seen in some other reviews that uh, there's some issues with the legs there I'm gonna get back to that when get a closer look but uh, yeah I'm gonna see if I have the same issues so yeah let's move in a little bit closer looking at the figure from top to bottom here there's the head sculpt really nicely done love the scar here uh, the top piece of the hood is uh, fabric but you wouldn't guess that this part here is molded plastic looks really <laughs> really nice good choice though because it would be a bitch to wrap all this uh, around here uh, you also get his bird head jewelry hair bird head uh, tends to want to flip top side down though but yeah uh, really nice colors this time around see the gold hair with the blue and a really nice print on those fabrics too really nicely done a lot of belts there more gold color paint going down here uh, this piece is wired this piece is wired this white pieces aren't and here's his pants got some sort of armor stuff here and leather or leather depending on what it is uh, you also get some tying hair some mud splatter on the shin guards here's the feet on the back uh, these two dangly pieces are wired as well now looking at the back here of the legs I've seen someone point out that this lower leg piece is differently painted from the body and the feet so let's check the skin tone sort of match though but uh, this looks like untreated plastic to me 
you can also see the seam on the back here uh, it won't be noticeable though because most people will pose the figure their figures uh, with the front facing out of the shelves I got some more pouches here really nice sculpting these are plastic pouches though but I'm fine with that there's velcro here that's about to uh, an open <laughs> or open itself up uh, I wonder it probably doesn't hold up anything but I uh, yeah, probably have to reattach that there's the hole for the quiver and yeah and there's some tattoos and there's a scar there too it's uh, just a gauntlet with the tight fists already on and there's the armor continuation and stuff and there's the hidden blade gauntlet really nicely done too also tight fist on it and the retracted blade Here, this just pops off and you replace it with the other one uh, single jointed elbows though but I uh, think the knees are yeah the knees are double jointed I like that to hide any additional uh, joints and stuff but it would be much cooler if it was seamless the body is painted and has this finish which the joints in there doesn't have and neither the legs here as I pointed out you can't see any texturing and stuff there as you can see with uh, hands or arms and uh, yeah these are separate pieces just pull them a little bit down to hide the ankle joints then yeah, there's the figure front and there's the figure from the back now let me assemble the figure and put it in a pose and uh, I'll be right back guys hold on okay so that was pretty quickly uh, I put the eagle uh, up on the stand there <laughs> kind of out of frame because it's way up under the ceiling of my shelf there uh, have some extra hands and the extended hidden blade laying on the shelf there but uh, yeah I put the quiver on arrows in the quiver bow on his back shield on his arm and sword in his belt so if I can do a slow 360 here probably move the camera in a little bit but uh, yeah the bird will tower over Bayek come on like about there and I just put him on a simple pose and there it is sword goes into a couple of loops on the belt there if I could just remove the hand and there is a couple of loops on the belt right here where you can slide the sword through uh, you don't have to remove the tight fists for putting the shield in uh, maybe there's the uh, activation hand for the hidden blade uh, might have some issues com uh, going through those all though but uh, I could just I could just put that shield straight on and it has some friction there it's not tight tight uh, in there but 
uh, yeah, it will hold. Tinting around here. As you can see, I got the bow here and the quiver. I checked the box. These straps aren't meant to be unwrapped, but uh, yeah, if you want to do it, you can probably do it. But uh, I think it's meant to be like that. It's on like that on the promo pictures and stuff. It doesn't wear it on the actual box. So yeah, here is the shielded hand from the back there. You can move in, and you'll see that. There is still a lot of room in the bottom uh, loop for the hand here, and there it just came off. Take it off for now. Leave it right there, and my over here. To pop this one off. Really carefully because I don't want to break my shit on while reviewing it. Come yes, come, come, come on. There. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. There's that piece, so it looks retracted. Just take the other one and lining it up with the holes there. See if I can hit them from behind the camera. That ain't easy, guys. Where's the, there's the other hole. And That's how the extended blade looks on the figure. I twisted his arm really good there, but uh, try to rotate it back like so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire figure and the accessories. The birds out of the frame though, but it's right uh, up there somewhere <laughs> above Bayek and uh, yeah nothing much left goes into the box it's the hidden blade you chose not to use as well as the hands you can't use and uh, depending on which weapons you posing Bayek with you probably have to leave the shield in the in the box too but uh, pretty much everything else goes on display and uh, that was my review on the 1-6 scale Bayek figure from the Assassin's Creed Origins game by Damn Toys and uh, yeah I figured out that uh, this is the pose I will put mine on on display with the eagle if it will fit that's the eagle up there and uh, the rest will go in the box, uh, namely the hands that can't use, as I mentioned, and the uh, hidden blade I'm not using. I'm posing him with uh, the extended blade. The shield I magically found a storage spot for, namely on his back. I'm not sure if this was intended by Damn Toys in uh, any stretch of the imagination but yeah uh, as you can see behind there I took the quiver and fed it through the loops in the shield so the peg ended up between the two loops and then 
you just have to find the sweet spot where the peg on the quiver can secure to the figure and uh, that's it you now have the shield attached to the back of your figure and uh, not bad if you ask me can't hold both the shield and use the <laughs> the hidden blade and the bow at the same time so but uh, there's that the eagle remains out of the frame uh, if you like the review then you can uh, as usual give it a thumbs up and as always go nuts in the comments and you can also visit my website if you want to here's my freaking logo and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll catch you on the next one guys bye bye